a Abcro kit here again with a Sanitaire 670B. Um, cool thing about this, well, not really cool, but um, it's got the 8 position height adjustment, which um, I was told would really help because in the past with my other Sanitaires using the 7 amp motor, 2 was too low and three was too high. So I always needed something in between because on this carpeting, these machines like literally, I could put my whole body into it and it just doesn't want to move. So that eight position, like people said, really helped. So being that it's a 670, um, it doesn't have the clean out fan area and it came with a VG2 which I then bought a VG1 on eBay for like this whole thing cost $12 shipped and I just had to jump on it and it was brand new and it has the four brushes instead of the beater bar which is, I feel is kind of obsolete um, so it takes the style F and G, which, of course, being me, I found HEPA F and G bags, and it's got a cloth, the tube is um, made out of the same cloth material as the bag, which I didn't know how that would work under all that airflow. I didn't know if it would just kind of create blow-by on the... Um, In the back area, and of course the phone is ringing. We'll just... um, so yeah, I mean, it's overall it's a much more enjoyable machine to use with the four position height adjustment compared to the regular, uh, or I should say the eight position compared to the regular six or whatever it is. So. Um, yeah, here we go. So, using that HEPA bag was a huge difference um, with this. I mean, if you've seen my other one with the ST style, um, it's been a while since I had a sanitaire. So when I did it again, I had old stock paper Genuine Eureka bags for this. And um, even new, like... And then going from one of those new and then putting one of these bags in new, a huge difference. The one thing I don't care for, and you can kind of tell, is the with the VG1, um, you've got this area right here where they don't have a bristle. Um, I don't, I think it may be just these. I probably could find another set, but it leaves this a huge, I mean, the center gap line is even bigger um, because of that. So um, that's really the only thing that kind of annoys me, but it's not the end of the world. So yeah, much more uh, enjoyable machine to use. Um, with the eight position height adjustment, and um, let me flip this over. I'm not. I'm pretty sure that this was a Eureka when this was owned by Eureka and Electrolux. I can't really see if this would focus. There we go. Um, yeah, 
yeah, 09, I assume that means 2009, so yeah, it definitely was. But still, it doesn't sound like the uh, newer 7 amp motors, so. And you can see around he here, I put hot glue because I've noticed with all my sanitaires, um, dust just comes right out of here. It's not escaping from in the bag area. It's from where, if you take this whole thing apart, which I don't recommend doing, it's a pain in the ass to do, but where this meets the inside assembly, dust just comes, it gets diverted back through there, so it comes between the bag and this collar, and there's just a ton of fine dust here, so I took it apart, and I'm, I'm like, I just felt like it was worthless. I might as well be vacuuming basically with the bag off because it was just a ton. And like I said, I've noticed it with a lot of, like almost every sanitaire I've had. So I found just by putting some hot glue around there and making a seal, I don't have any of that dust leakage anymore. So, um, so yeah, that's, I can't think of anything else to say. Um, it's, yeah, it's a good machine overall, um, especially with the eight position height adjustment. Um, you know, I still don't think it cleans as deep as like a Kirby does, and I don't think the pet hair pickup is as good. Um, but I could be wrong. I've never done like a dirt test with it, so I could just be talking out of my uh, my ass here. But um, yeah, I mean, overall, it's a really good machine, and I can see why they're still made. So, anyways, tell me what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.